First of all, today was a beautiful day. Was it we outside today? Wasn't that lovely? Oh, uh, that just perfect and still kind of cool. We the sun is out, very happy. Yesterday was a totally different situation with the wind. Was that, it was a very windy day yesterday. I thought it was kind of fun because, you know, I like to watch all the thing girls, you know, panicking. And that was, what are you like, what do you do on windy day? You put bricks in your purse? What do you do? Come on, baby. I don't know. in the wind, too, because everything feels so sexy and exciting, do you know what I mean? You know, you pretend like you're being chased or something, like, yeah, you're running the air, right? <laughs> it's, funny. it's weird to explain it to people on the street, but it's fun, though. I'm like, oh, I take all the adventure I can get. Anyway, so this is it. I, just, I actually, I have a twin. I have a twin sister. Uh, she's not on stage with me now. Fuck you, people. Anyway, she's not. I do have a twin sister, and we are fraternal. Do you know what that means? That we know nothing alike fraternal. So it was very, very tricky uh, growing up. Because my sister, how can I describe this? Okay, uh, my twin sister was like the prom queen, and um, I was the spunky one with good coloring. Do you understand what I'm saying? I was all personality. Joanne was the, and it was very troublesome because um, when we were uh, when we were born, my sister Joanne was actually born with club feet. All right, because that which means her feet go in, and that's not great. So she had to, they had to break her legs, and they sent her home from the hospital in little casts. And what, what happened, the story was, apparently, my mother tells me that the doctor said one of the babies was trying to dominate the womb. And, uh, <laughs> and was apparently crushing the other baby's legs. <laughs> and from that moment on, I've always been the troublemaker. Do you know what I mean? My mom, she won't forgive me still, it's been years. Um, <laughs> Another thing too that I know maybe it's maybe I'm not the only one in the room. I don't drive. Anybody else doesn't drive in the room? Oh, well, just one guy. Yes, maybe you. We have friends pick us up, but everyone else. So I, I don't. I just I, I'm not. I'm not good. I have my license, but I'm really scared to drive. I just I don't like it. And I also another reason that I realize I'm not a good driver is because I hate to pay attention. Oh, so boring. Are you kidding? Being alert. Oh. I gotta tell you, because you know what, the stuff going on in my head way better than what's happening on the streets. <laughs> Do you understand? In my brain, there's like drama and kissing. There's kissing in my brain. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm driving. You know, it's not, that's, that's not good. That can't be good. But it's trouble. I'm not, I can't wait to be a cougar. I cannot wait to be a cougar. I'm like constantly, I'm like, is there a test I need to take to become a cougar? Do you know what I mean? Because if there is, I hope there's no running. Anyway, I do, I hope. You know, if I show up for the cougar test and there's like an obstacle course with those fucking tires, I'm mad. I'm mad. You know, unless the Jonas Brothers are waiting at the end. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just the young one. Anyway, um, I'm going to prison. Let's move on. All right, shall we? But I, uh, I was, I was just in Winnipeg, which I really should, you know, start off the show with bragging. But I was just in Winnipeg. Uh -huh. And here's the thing, I did that, I said, you know, there's many cougars in the crowd, and there was a cougar in the crowd, and she made herself known, and I was like, so, anyway, she's like, Deborah, I'm a cougar, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> ma'am, I don't know, um, and she was telling me that she said I was going in my room, and she said, Deborah, you don't, you don't chase the young boys, what you do is you, you sit, you wait, and you trap them, <laughs> and I was like, that is a terrifying thing to say, are you kidding me? But then I started having that, I started making that scene, like getting that visual going in my head, and I was like, Trap a little boy. Okay. <laughs> so then I start thinking about it. I'm like, maybe I like dig a hole, you know what I mean? And then I cover it up with like branches and leaves and stuff. Some foliage, you know, wait for the teenagers to walk by. You know, maybe I get one, a little baseball cap goes up. I'm like, oh, 